¿Qué onda, mi gente, en YouTube? What's cracking, everybody? Today, I'm going to bring y'all another jersey review, an up-close look. Um, before I get into the jersey, though, I want to say salute, saludos, shout out to the whole jersey community on YouTube. Very solid group of individuals that are genuinely passionate about collecting. And it's way different than the sneaker game, right? The sneaker game is full of snakes hype beasts, money hungry vatos that are only caring about the monetary and, and resale value of things and they're not in it for the passion. So salute to the Jersey community. Much love you guys. I love the challenges that I see. It's just so cool to see people interact like that, right? And and challenge and show collections and, and mention each other's names. So big ups you guys, salute. So today's Jersey I'm gonna show you guys is my 1994 Michael Jordan, Chicago White Sox, MLB jersey made by Russell Athletic. Russell Athletic, it's an authentic diamond collection. Let's get into it. So here is the authentic 1994 Michael Jordan, Chicago White Sox jersey that he wore against the Chicago Cubs in the Windy City Exhibition game. Um, this is the same exact piece that he wore in that game where he went two for five had a ground double out to left field that brought a batter in. Uh, he had an RBI, and the Chicago White Sox tied it up against the Cubs. They said that that game was crazy loud. Both sides, the Cubs and the White Sox fans, were there in full force, screaming and ecstatic that the legend himself, Michael Jordan, was playing. So you can imagine that, right? You know, Chicago's hometown, not sorry, not hometown, but Chicago's hero is here in a baseball uniform on the diamond. And so two for five isn't too bad, especially with an RBI. He played right field. Um, he got the number 45 in homage to his brother, Larry. And he wore that his JV year in high school basketball and then switched switched over to 23 his varsity year. So 23 was 45 split in two. 45 divided by two and you round, right? So that's, I guess, how he got 45. He did return to the NBA with this number, but people hated it. I guess the fans couldn't stand it. And so he switched to 23 eventually. Um, what else about this number? Well, baseball basically was him paying tribute to his father who had just been murdered. Um, I forget if he was murdered in 93 or 94, but he said that he played baseball with his father. His father had a deep love for baseball. And this was him chasing his, his dream of being a professional ball player in memory of his father. Probably. I, I bet there was some midlife crisis scenario. And I mean, I can only guess how difficult that would be. And so this was his way of filling that void, trying out for, for, um, professional baseball he did play in the minor leagues with the birmingham barons which was the feeder team to the white Sox. he signed with the white Sox under jerry reinsdorf who owned the bulls and the white Sox at that time um so that's kind of how he got in right but he actually worked his ass off they said they said that he was one of the most dedicated baseball players they had ever seen he would show up early he would leave late and um you know, so you can't deny that, right? There was a, a pitcher on the White Sox who had the number 45 when Jordan came in in 94. This pitcher had this number. His name was Scott Ruffern, and he had this in 93. Um, and they gave it to Jordan. Jordan said that that's what the White Sox gave him was this number. But there were reports that Jordan probably did have some say in what number he got now jordan did offer to give the number back to the pitcher i guess and the pitcher said you can have it he said that he wanted number double zero when he came to play baseball so scott ruffern the pitcher was not interested in keeping 45 he said it was fine jordan said he would compensate him jordan asked what kind of compensation he would like the pitcher said he just wants a pair of shoes and i guess that's what went down <laughs> so that's pretty dope um what else? Jordan played 127 games for the Barons, which is their minor league team, the White Sox minor league team. He had 51 RBIs, three home runs, 30 stolen bases, which was really good for a minor league player. But those 30 stolen bases were negated by 18 caught stolen bases that he was thrown out. So um, what else? He had a batting average of 202, nothing to brag about. Um, and he had 436 at-bats. Okay, so After the jersey now is mostly single-stitched. This is a single-stitched jock tag, diamond collection, authentic, size 44, made in the USA. Here you have a single-stitched, triple-layered tackle twill, 
white, black, and then gray base. Here on the White Sox crest though, it is triple stitched. And this is a true triple stitched tackle twill. I love this old school cursive, you guys. Old school, old English socks going diagonally down is fire. Here on this left shoulder, you have a single stitched White Sox diamond stitched onto the shoulder. You have a cuffed sleeve, which is a tighter cuff, and it's gray with white, a very thick rib of about an inch, yeah, inch and a quarter. Um, on the right sleeve, you have the stitched Russell logo with the same gray and white cuff there on the sleeve. Here's the tag, size 44 Russell Athletic, made in the USA. Let's go ahead and go to the back. The layering is very nice. The, the stitching is very clean on these vintage jerseys. This is an authentic 1994, like I said. It is not a reproduction, and it is authentic. Jordan is just sitting so nicely on this black jersey. The stitching is super good. Just gotta have this in the collection. I'm super lucky to have it. These were sitting for the longest, authentic Russells. Um, and now it looks like people are buying these Jordans up for some reason. I don't know why. They didn't have some value like the Bonds, Consecos, some of the other players did in this 90s Russell Authentics. But um, people are buying them up. So I had to had to scoop one. Now I need the Space Jam OGs, the 2016 release, to go with them. I had them and I sold them, which I regret doing. But that's the baseball shoe in the retro Jordan line that he would wear when he played baseball. So people did hate that he wore 45 when he returned to the NBA with the Bulls and he ended up going back to 23 because of the outrage I guess from the fans but I loved it when I was about nine years old and he came back to the Bulls I love that number 45 very thick polyester heavy really heavy weight um, not something you want to wear in 100 degree weather by any means and it stood the test of time though this polyester is no joke um, it's very nice so there it is you guys thought I'd share that with you Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully this video isn't too long and I'll see you all in the next one.